last year, leaving some bruised feelings all around. Some think Fresno State should have perhaps more momentum and more motivation because of that. The opening kick returned by Paris Gaines for big yardage. To the 47-yard line, he brought it back 31 yards. 24. So he is adjusting to life as a parent, as Kershaw adjusts to life as a newlywed. To the air and right on target at the 36-yard line is Rodney Wright. He's got a Fresno State first down, a gain of 15. First team at offensive guard leads that group. And the toss sweep finds Anderson ready to go 98 yards. A foot race inside the 30, and they grab him at the 22. Consecutive time they've gone into Cougar Stadium and come away with a win from BYU's home team. Unheard of. Play fake over the middle and batted away, and very fortunate that was not picked off by Orlando Huff. Being on the 13. That's where they are, but of course still goal to go. From the gun, steps up, didn't feel the heat, and down he goes at the 16. Justin Johnson, sack leader for the Bulldogs, and he's got his sixth of the year. Fairly accurate, though, six of nine with the season best effort of 46. Locked, middle of the line, and a big return. The Bulldogs take it all the way up the side. Peyton Williams, untouched. 87 yards. Number 13, Terrence Brown got up in the air and got that football. That's a habit that the Fresno State special teams have cultivated this year. They've done a marvelous job. That's his third block of the season, and this time it bounds right into the hands of Peyton Williams, who takes it the distance. First huge play of this football game that resulted in points. Certainly Anderson's run could have been a huge play for Utah. Jeff Hanna for the extra point. Not the first huge play, a 76-yard run on the first play from scrimmage by Mike Anderson. Wasted. Utes not only don't score, they give up seven on the block field goal return by Peyton Williams. Get to have him back for his senior year. Great weapon. Junior out of L.A. Anderson slices it back across the middle. Deck the only man with an angle can't catch him this time. 34-yard touchdown, Mike Anderson. Line of Utah so far back, he leaves his feet at the line of scrimmage. Should never happen. Volek going to work. And nice open field movement by Rodney Wright. Exactly what that play is designed to do. Back to the three-wide look. Down, run it out on Bullock. Just does get the step. Hole off the left side for Gaines. Inside the 30, a pickup of 11. Let's check in with Brian Kenny. On the season beginning to go. Basketball full swing. Now Derek Ward. Ward finds the cutback angle. To the six-yard line, first and goal. Derek Ward, 22 yards. They're big guys. Just haven't measured up to the big guys of Utah. They haven't been able to block it. Bullock looking to go deep and up the side. It is caught and it is inbounds for Charles Smith. That was the only question. It was the best thrown pass of the night. Hit him in stride and he is inbounds and it's 40 yards. I don't like that in Christmas. That is gone. A 27 yarder lined up right between the hash marks. Finally, a kick that is not blocked. <laughs> also coming wide right. Trouble in the backfield for Arsenault. Dropped. 
for a loss inside the 25 by Alan Harper first team all whack sophomore out of Fontana California they're at home watching <laughs> well, congratulations guys she's a grandma for the fifth time let's go back up here they are congratulations as well Fast drop by Barry in second and ten. He is now at 197 consecutive passes without an interception. Marcellus Armstrong to the 41 of Utah picks up 19. Smith went in motion, took it on the reverse. Inside the 10, inside the 5 goes Charles Smith. And another late hit flag, maybe on face masking against Jay Hill. It's a 17 yard reverse for Charles Smith. With the biggest snap of the night for the Bulldogs. First and goal from the two trailing 14 to 10. The give to a leaping Derek Ward touchdown. On the talent out of that state every year. Turn a freaking fly mile. Night. Good heavens, administered by Justin Johnson. All Mike Anderson could do to get back up on his feet. Fresno has survived all year by stunting and blitzing up front. They're not as physically dominant. This is the sixth tackle of the night for Johnson, and he does it because he hits the gap and just listen to this smash. This one up and good. Utah 95 to 66 in the fourth quarter, Dave. Very close to the same kind of stat. They need four. And they get Armstrong over the middle. With a spin move to the 46 goes the freshman from Fresno for 20 yards. Marcellus Armstrong in there for the injured Paris Gaines.